Installing Talk 2.0 on your Mac is easy to do and it only takes a moment. This means that you'll be up and making music in no time at all. Now whether you're installing Talk from a DVD or if you've downloaded the full installer or the demo installer, the procedure is the same for either. I'm going to use the DVD. The installer contains the installer itself as well as some license free music tracks to get you started. There's a drivers folder containing software installations for the exponent and connective hardware pieces and a documentation folder for both hardware and for Talk itself. OK, double click the Talk 2.0 installer and the welcome screen will pop up. Click continue and after you've read the software license click continue and agree to it. Then verify the destination drive and once you click continue the installer is going to wait for you to give it the go ahead by typing in your administrator password. The installer will then begin writing files to your hard drive. It'll only take a moment but when it's finished click close to exit the installer. Take a moment to clean up your workspace. If you used a DVD, eject it. If you used a disk image, then unmount that. Nice. Now go ahead and launch Talk from the dock. Now the first time you launch Talk 2.0, you'll have to activate the software. Click the next button to start the activation process. Now if you have an internet connection and you've purchased Talk, or a talk upgrade, then internet activation is what you want. Enter the serial number that you received via email. The serial number is 25 characters, all caps and all letters, while the system ID consists of only numbers. Click next when you're finished. Now if the computer that you're using is not connected to the internet, then use manual activation. You'll need to make note of your machine ID and using another computer, go to activate.avid.com, enter the serial ID, serial number and your machine ID to activate and retrieve your activation key. Enter that into Talk and hit Next. You can also call and retrieve an activation key via phone support. Now if you just can't wait to get your hands on Talk 2.0, you can always activate the trial version. You'll still have the two options for when you're ready to purchase Talk and enter your own personal license. Next up is the Setup Assistant. Now if you are a bit of a novice or just new to Talk, then maybe the automatic setup is better for you. Clicking Next will give you a summary of how Talk has configured your system, including your music and your iTunes library. Click Next and you're ready to start using Talk. However, if you want to go through and be a little bit more particular about your setup, you can choose manual setup. Let me show you. First up is your audio device. While you can use the built-in audio of your Mac as a talk engine, DJs usually prefer to have an extra set of outputs for using the headphone cue mix. As the exponent has one and it's installed, I'm going to choose it. Next is mixer mode. Do we let Talk, do all the mixing internally, or do we have a hardware mixer? Next up is deck mode. Talk 2.0 now features up to four decks simultaneously A and B on the left side, and deck C and D on the right hand side. Now I'm going to use two deck mode, more conventional, but now you can see that we have just one deck on either side. Next up are your MIDI ports on or off. The exponent has two ports, the USB port and its own in and out port. Now for your music setup. By default, Talk will use the music folder in your home folder, but you can change it to anything you like. Next, iTunes setup. Again, Talk looks to your default iTunes library. And that's it. You'll now get a summary of all of your changes and your system is now configured and you're ready to start using Talk. Now if while running the trial version you purchase a copy of Talk, you can get back to the activation screen from the preferences. You can see that the trial is active, but when we enter the serial number and our system ID, Talk will activate your full license. Talk is now authorized to run on this computer. 
Now, if for some reason you want to run Talk on another computer, just go back and deactivate your license. Fantastic.